Do you belong to 46% of the population that wonders where all the money for rich people comes from? What exactly makes them different from us? If yes, then you are at the right place at the right time because we have all the answers to your curious questions. Today, we're going to be looking at the day from the eyes of Jeff Benzos and Richie Rich, commonly known as the executive chairman of Amazon. Unlike many rich people who like to portray their start of the day quite early. Wait, you said 9 a.m., go a little earlier, did you say 7 a.m.? No, go a little early. Yes, 4.30 a.m., but surprisingly, Jeff Benzos gives you a different outlook on life because he certainly doesn't believe in this. Every day Jeff Bezos wakes up around the time the sun rises, which normally is around between 6 and 7 a.m. Unlike your imagination, he doesn't like to be awakened by the sound of fancy alarms or like normally through his iPhone. He let his mind naturally wakes up after his body gets the required sleep. Now we understand how the vast population of the student body must be shaking their head in horror hearing this, but studies show how it's more healthy to wake up without an alarm clock. When you wake up with any snooze, it snatches any of that extra sleep you're getting. As a result, it won't allow your sleep cycle to be completed, which can disturb your circadian rhythm and your hormones. This can cause them to be sleepy, grumpy, and have low energy, and that's precisely the reason why Jeff allows his body to wake him up naturally. After Jeff wakes up, he doesn't just grab a Pop-Tart and zip out the door, rather than being driven by work first thing as most of you expects out of him. He starts his day off by reading the newspaper, scrolling on his phone, and relaxing with his children. He enjoys the me time so he can prepare himself for worldly affairs. Although a more interesting question is where Jeff Bezos wakes up considering his billions. He recently splashed out $78 million on a remote Hawaiian ranch for himself and Lauren to canoodling, but that's only a tiny corner of his vast real estate empire. Jeff Bezos is the 25th largest landowner in the United States. There's the legendary nine-acre Jack Warner estate in Los Angeles, which was bought last year from David Geffen for $165 million. This property has a nine-hole golf course on its grounds. There's a separate cluster of Beverly Hills mansions, also owned by Bezos. A sprawling four-story condo on the Upper West Side of Manhattan and a separate multi-story along with a 15 condo. In the Flat Iron District, there's also Bezos's $23 million property based upon 10-bedroom Washington Dick Mansion, which is the largest in the city. In the same neighborhood as the Obama security conscious Bezos also bought the mansion next door and the one over the road cause, why not that one has an elevator and a 700-bottle wine cellar, Let's imagine him waking him up in his mansion. Now he goes about his mornings without a lot of rushing, which certainly goes against the rise and grind mentality. Jeff then eats breakfast with his kids around 8 a.m. As he cited this as the most important part of his day, he's known to have a healthy breakfast avoiding traditional American breakfasts, which are full of carbs and fat. Before you all go, awa. He wasn't always this way back when he started Amazon. He started every single morning by eating an entire can of Pillsbury Crescent biscuits, which he would then add more butter on top of not exactly the most energy-promoting meal, but we will be lying if we say that doesn't mouthwatering. Good for him he stopped eating like that when his wife at the time, Mackenzie Bezos, told him to look at the nutrition label he's been reporting saying he had never read a nutrition label in his life before that point and considering he was about 28 years old at the time. It's hard to deny some big changes have happened in terms of his appearance and habits. Since he was that age, surely we all remember Swole Jeff and the barrage of memes that came along with it ripped Jeff aside. Jeff hasn't talked about what he eats for breakfast, but chances are it's a bit unique. In a meeting, back in 2017, with Wood founder Matt Rutledge Jeff ordered octopus with potatoes bacon, green garlic yogurt, and poached eggs for breakfast. He stated he likes to try new things and often likes to switch up the meals he has. 
After eating his breakfast and taking his four children to school, he heads off to work which means he has about three hours of relaxing downtime with the family. To everyone out there, learn from him how the family is important. Jeff never even sets a meeting before 10 a.m. Generally, he likes to set his more challenging meetings between 10 and noon when he believes he's the sharpest. He never sets important meetings after lunch because he prefers to have his decision-making at its best. According to him, as a senior executive he's paid to make a small number of high-quality decisions, he stakes by ensuring he's at his best during meetings. If any problems arise within the afternoons are often put off until 10 a.m. the following morning, and these meetings have some rather strict guidelines. Jeff employs a two-rule meaning that the meeting should be small enough so two pizzas could feed the entire group. Strange, right, but this rule is also backed up by studies that say meetings under this size are more efficient and productive. In general, Jeff isn't a fan of meetings. He meets with Amazon investors for only six hours every year, which is drastically less than the average CEO that being said it seems to work all right for him. Many CEOs boast about their 12-13 or even 14-hour work. Even Elon Musk reportedly works 120-hour weeks and often sleeps under his desk well. Our very own old Zuckerberg reportedly works 70 hours per week, but Jeff sticks to a casual 7.5-hour work day by 5 p.m. He's generally ready to be finished for the day. By then he says his decision-making has diminished. And that's something that happens to all of us, whether we like to admit it or not. While a lot of people believe that working longer is more productive in reality, that's far from the truth. It's been proven that the average American office worker is only actually productive for three hours a day with that in mind. It makes sense that Jeff would start work at 10 and head home by 5. He's very vocal about his belief in work-life harmony rather than balance, because balance implies a trade-off between the two, when in reality they must exist as one. Jeff's not very open about what he does after work, but he is known for having dinner with his family and doing the dishes every night. During his time off from work, we can make a few assumptions about what Jeff likes to do. He's a known Star Trek fan or tricky, so we can assume he watches some Star Trek in the massive home theater in his mansion. He likes watching Star Trek, of course. He's such a fan that he arranged paid presumably to be cast as a Starfleet official in Star Trek Beyond, not to mention launching his boyhood hero William Shatner into space on a rocket early this year cause why not? Bezos is the kind that runs to the gym to keep himself fit and healthy but some of his recent pictures went viral on the internet where people couldn't help but resemble him with a famous actor in Diesel. But that wasn't it his memes got famous after that picture hit the internet for a while people had something to laugh about. And it was pretty obvious why people had that thought there were some obvious traces of toned muscle. And we can't deny the fact that Bezos did nail that look. With all this laughter, we have come to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what would you like us to do next. Till then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.